what to uh, Ronaldo, Didier, Drogba, or Zidane have in common? If your answer would be that they are all uh, football players, you would be half right. <laughs> they are all among the United Nations goodwill ambassadors. So we have many such uh, goodwill ambassadors who are working for the common cause of peace, uh, development, and human rights. Together, the IOC and the United Nations have revi revived the idea of observing an Olympic truce. Of course, guns, guns do not always fall silent, but we shall keep trying. We are still being troubled by all what's happening in North Africa, in Libya, and in many other parts of Arab. Such, however, such uh, Olympic truce poses can offer much needed respite from violence, period in which humanitarian assistance can be delivered. The truce can also give mediators crucial time. The United Nations also uses sports to support uh, peace building. Participation in football matches, for example, has helped ex-combatants uh, to reintegrate into communities and break down stereotype and stigma. Let us do more to mainstream sports in our development, peace building, and peacekeeping activities. There is a tremendous potential here to educate future leaders, to create positive role models, to reach out to the poorest and most troubled areas in the world. Let us explore, explore how the sporting community can support the transformations that are underway in North Africa and Middle East. The United Nations has used the sport in many troubled societies, from the Balkans to Cyprus to Africa, to promote reconciliation and help children learn positive social values. We all know that children and youth are often those who suffer most from conflict. Sport programs can help give them a second chance, a chance to learn skills and regain confidence.